I don't have expectations as far as numbers. Yeah. I have expectations on that we're going to hit you in the mouth. I have expectations that we're going to compete. I have expectations the other team has to beat us, that we're not going to go out and lose. Those are my expectations. Fall camp has gone very well so far for us. We've had uh, two practices in shorts and our first one today in pads. Uh, the intensity level keeps rising as, uh, as we keep moving through this thing. Uh, the thing I'm most pleased about with these guys is that uh, they're uh, practicing very physical and there's a lot of, not a lot of mental mistakes. It's more technique stuff. And uh, from a football coach standpoint, that's great because we're throwing a lot of stuff at them. It shows they've been working all summer in the playbook and uh, watching tape and seeing how things fit. So uh, we're excited. We have another day of shells tomorrow and then Monday. We, uh, we get going the full pads. I still got to get on a little bit about running on and off the field, uh, chasing the ball sometimes on defense. I have to get on about that, finishing occasionally. But it's starting to become second nature to them. So they've, they've done a good job of picking up where they left off from the spring. Tyler is, the thing I like about Tep, Tyler, he's really good making plays on schedule. But he's also a guy that can make plays off schedule, staying alive. He does a great job of working the pocket and keeping his eyes downfield. Uh, I, I think the world of Tyler. I, I wish I had him longer, but uh, you know he's a, he's a guy that <laughs> he's a, he's a special kid. Kenan Canty has done some good things. Kyle Cephalo has done some good things. Uh, but the kid right now just it's three straight days, and uh, I don't want to say, but I will. He's a freshman. Tyler McCulloch is doing uh, a lot of good things. Uh, he makes mistakes at full speed when he does make a mistake, and that's not a lot. And he's very aggressive catching the ball. He's probably all of six five, and he has a way of getting behind people. I gave him eighty seven because he reminded me of a eighty seven that I used to watch in Bronco Ed McCaffrey, kind of type player. I don't, you know. So uh, I'm excited to see if he keeps progressing. The only way we're going to win is if we're the better team on that day. You know, we are not going to have the best players. I'm okay with that. But we can be the better team. That doesn't mean you can't be the best team.